more often than not, you know, there's always some reference to the underarm and uh, just the way it is, I was in the game and uh, people refer back to it and often ask what it was like and some people hang their head in shame, particularly the Australians. Um, having lived in Australia and once the Australians find out that I was in that match, often they reflect back and say, you know, it was a pretty disgraceful incident. And, uh, you know, there's always something up my sleeve that I've got over them. So, But it's, it's quite a lot of banter and I suppose when I look back, in, in a way, um, it was a good thing for the game, ironically, because it filled Eden Park for the next match. We had 42,000 people there. There was hardly any breathing space, really. And uh, it really set cricket up for another 10 years and gathered a lot of interest from really supporters that probably weren't that interested in the game at the time, but they became interested. So it was, good, in a way, perversely a good thing. Look, I, I did my um, Level 3 accreditation through Cricket Australia and Greg uh, was, was running the program up there, so, you know, we get on really well. And uh, he's, he's, he's quite a humorous guy uh, underneath it all. People probably don't realise that. And uh, people say, have you seen Trevor lately? And, you know, I've run into Trevor a few times and, you, you know, I remember him saying, you know, when he went to coach Bangladesh and the young players, when he first arrived in Bangladesh, um, the, the, play, the young boys come up to him and say, oh, you're Trevor, the one that bowled under him. So it sort of has lived with him <laughs> as, as the deliverer of the ball and uh, Greg sort of hid in, hid in the background. But, um, yeah, as I say, it was exceptional for the game here. It just created so much interest and, and it really certainly got um, one day cricket off to a, a real bang in New Zealand around that time. Tre Trevor was at, at a, um, he was coaching King's yeah, yeah. school and my son was playing for Barker and, and the boys on the field spent most of the time talking about whether Trevor and I were going to have a punch up. <laughs> anyway, Tre Trevor, one of their boys got injured and he came walking around and my wife said to me, you're going to go and talk to Trevor? And I said, I'll bide my time. And uh, anyway, he walks past, he hadn't seen me, I had a cap on and you know, sunglasses. So he didn't know I was at the game watching. And uh, unbeknown to me, all the boys were watching from the middle, thinking, ah, oh, he's going to take his, take his time and he's going to wait for the moment. And they saw me jump out of the seat and I ran down behind Trevor and I bear hugged him. And I called him, an, you know, just another underarm bowler. <laughs> and I felt the air just go swooshing straight out of him, going, oh, another mad Kiwi. And I said, it's all right, Trevor, it's me, it's Bruce. He goes, oh, thank goodness it's you. But really the flip side is the positive aspect of what it did for cricket in New Zealand. And going forward, it just created so much interest in the game. You know, we had 42,000 people. We couldn't warm up on the ground. There were people all over Eden Park. The number two ground, which was a which is what it is today, was a, was a car park. So no, so we couldn't go over and practice over there. So we're on the number one ground, but people were on the ground because it was sold out. So there's no room to move. So we were having catches in a, in a sort of confined area of 30 metres, people wandering around. And, and then when the uh, game started, I think a bowling ball went straight out across the ground from the open stand at Eden Park. And, uh, what a way to start the day and, um, you know, the public sort of wanted blood in a way and they wanted us to win and we won the game which got, a, got the series off to a good start and then we won the Test Series later on, oh, the Test in Eden Park again. So, so it was a lot of excitement and just created, um, you know, so much excitement for the game and then, unfortunately, we went to Wellington and we felt like, you know, superheroes, you know, we'd arrived at the Basin Reserve for the next one day game and it had been a little bit wet, the pitch was a bit too green actually and we were running around the outside of the ground at the Basin Reserve there to a full house and we played so badly. It was such a letdown for the crowd but it was like all of a sudden this interest had just come into the game. We couldn't believe it and 